Hello, hello, and this is X back in the saddle for our Austria campaign. I'm going to try and reform our armies after we just beat France. Yes, we beat them pre-1500. Force them to release Bar. I've I've spat out, spat out Burgundy as my vassal, so they should be a nice strong vassal which I can give cause to in following wars. Which will work nicely. On this flank, I have Hungary and Bosnia as uh, vassals, which I can use to expand and then swallow. So that works out well. Tech wise, we're not doing too badly. Just tech rushing admin ideas at the moment. It did help because I am using a lot of mercs at the moment. I am using one hell of a lot of mercs. But it saved my manpower and let me win the war against France. So I, although I will get rid of them eventually, at the moment they're not too bad. I don't think there's any ideas to take that related to that. My war exhaustion was up at 20 at the end of that war, so I've been spending monarch points a lot to bring it back down, but uh, we're doing alright. Seem to have got it all under control now. And I think I've got my aggressive ex expansion doing alright. Better relations is definitely the right way to go. I'm making money hand over fist, so yeah, we'll start reforming armies now. Yeah, Frankfurt's just taking a place, has it? Who are they allied with? Pretty sure they're not an elector. No, they're not. Cleaves the planet in Thuringia. Cologne. So I'd hack off Cologne, who don't like me much at the moment anyway. Oh wait, no, I'd improve Cologne's opinion because they're... No, I wouldn't, I'd hack them off. Whereas with this, it would be Cleves, Platinet and Thuringia. They would like you to take a positive view. Piss off Cologne for improving relations with the rest. That sounds like a not bad deal. Start moving that army up to deal with this. It is a shame that when you disband units like this, you don't get the manpower back. Because I'd love to disband those and get cannons out of that, but not going to happen.
Right, so clone will join. the terrain let's move around to Nassau and then attack them that way because then I don't get a crossing penalty though I wouldn't get a crossing penalty anyway so we'll go straight in this, sh ooh, both rolled nines however I've got a lot more it's a stack wipe. Now, how heavily defended is this 2000 man garrison? Okay, go on a turn, select the army, leave behind that, move on to there. Now, who else am I at war with? Cologne, okay. I'm going to Yes, this is probably a 2,000 man garrison. No, it's at 1,300 because they haven't finished reinforcing it yet. That's perfect. We'll leave behind that and that and then go on to Cologne. Ah, there's Cologne's army. Let's go and squish it. Right, they're going to get away on the 5th. Right, they're running for Westfalen. Let's see if we can stop them there and then catch them. 8th, 13th, yet yeah, we caught them. Now I rolled poorly. Now I reckon they'll be falling back to Cologne, so we'll just chase them there and squish them. Squish them like a bug. Go speed four. Cologne is still high enthusiasm. I'm somewhat surprised. Damn it, I just lost my general. Well, I lost a general. Excellent. Free stability, thank you very much.
may as well disband that lot for the time being, get the cash cup rolling in. I can't believe Cologne is still at high enthusiasm. Neither of you has got an army and I'm sieging you both down. Improve relations to them because I may be able to get them back on board at some point. It's good to see Burgundy recruiting rapidly. They'll be a useful vassal then. Right. Cologne. My friends. War reparations and your wallet. And that'll do. Now. There we go, that's that done. Yep, my aggressive expansion is still under 30 with mains, so that's going to be people not joining coalitions. Happy with that. Exhaustion slowly dropping. But I think I want to drop it faster. There we go. 